Hello, welcome to another science revision video. In this video we're going to look at a GCSE physics topic, which is how to calculate the gravitational potential energy of an object. So a recap on what gravitational potential energy is. GPE is the energy stored within an object due to its position above the Earth's surface, so from being high up. The higher up the object is, the higher its GPE store will be and the more energy it will store. Think about anything that's high up like a plane or a bird or someone standing on the top floor of a building. You're going to need an equation to calculate this, which is gravitational potential energy equals mass times gravitational field strength times height. Energy is measured in joules, mass in kilograms, gravitational field strength in newtons per kilogram and height in metres. So if any of your units are not given in these units, you need to convert them. If it helps, you can learn the symbol equations, so GPE equals M times G times H, or just GPE equals MGH for short. It's the same thing, just shortened to a symbol equation to help you remember it. Let's look at an example of a question where you might need to use this. So this question is about an athlete doing the high jump, jumping over a bar. An 80 kilogram athlete jumps two meters during a high jump event. The gravitational field strength on Earth is 10 newtons per kilogram. It's actually 9.81 newtons per kilogram, but you just need to use the GFS that they give you in the question. They will tell you which value they want you to use. So using that information, calculate the athlete's gravitational potential energy. We're going to need to use that equation, GPE equals MGH, mass times gravitational field strength times height. We know that the mass of the athlete is 80, gravitational field strength is 10, and the height they've jumped is 2. So if we times them together, we get 1,600 joules, and that is the athlete's gravitational potential energy. Let's have a look at some more practice questions on this. There are three for you to try. In the first question, a 0.15 kilogram baseball is battered 20 metres into the air. Gravitational field strength on Earth is 10 newtons per kilogram. Calculate the ball's gravitational potential energy. So same question, you need to use the same equation, just with different values. Question number two is going to be about a bird. A two kilogram bird is flying 50 metres in the air. The gravitational field strength on Earth in this one is 9.81, so they've given you a different value. Calculate the bird's gravitational potential energy. Same process, you just need to use this, the different value for gravitational field strength that they've given you. And for the final question, a 75 kilogram astronaut lands on Jupiter and jumps 1.5 metres into the air. She has a gravitational potential energy of 2,789 joules. Calculate the gravitational field strength on Jupiter. So for this question, you need to rearrange the equation to make gravitational field strength the subject. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. So for the first one, we're using the standard equation, GPE equals mass times gravitational field strength times height, which is 0.15 times 10 times 20. And that gives us a gravitational potential energy of 30 joules. For the second one, same equation, but this time mass is 2. Gravitational field strength is 9.81 and height is 50, which gives us 981 joules. Now for the last one, if we rearrange the equation for gravitational field strength, we get gravitational field strength equals GPE over mass times height. So you need to rearrange the equation to get that. GPE is 2,789 and mass times height would be 75 times 1.5. If we put that into our calculator, we will get a gravitational field strength of 24.8 newtons per kilogram. Might be slightly different if you haven't rounded on your calculator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.